Okay, some freshly planted purple cabbage. As you can see, little squirrels out here. But these look really good. These are some just regular cabbage. Those are my purple cabbage. I just planted those. Some collars that I transplanted. So they were looking a little sick, a little sad, but they're looking pretty good now. Now, these right here, I don't know. Something got a hold of them. Just took the tops right off. But these look good. So I lost two on in this bed. Literally took the whole look at that. Nah. Nah. It's okay. Out of the two, out of all the ones we have, we lost two. This is my tomatoes. Getting ready to stake these up. Now these are the big boy big boy eh my eggplant now this is my first time growing eggplant there is uh there was a bloom we've had some torrential rains but there's another bloom there it's gonna be opening up soon and this one right here is a better boy it's a hybrid so we got some celery going on here Got some celery going on. Plenty of tomatoes. And this is a pepper. This is my uh should let's see, let me how do you pronounce it? Shito. Okay, so sweet pepper. <laughs> I only have one of them for right now. So as you see, I gotta get these up. Got a tomato right there. So we'll get the get those going. Okay, tomatoes. Juicy. These are the park. Let's say these are the park's whopper improved. So I hope they're whopper tomato. So the rain is wonders that's what we need we need the rain uh, looks good already tomatoes on them so we'll be getting those up now these are my peppers from last year bell peppers I I did not cut back or anything as you see we're still producing it's a jalapeno Okay. Cayenne peppers there. Uh, no. No, no. These are romaine lettuce. Now they were in pots and I went ahead and repotted them because they were kind of like stunted. But they're looking pretty good. And this one right here. Ooh, baby, baby. This came from a seed. And it just grew in the bed. These right here as well. Because last season I had some in this bed. Pulled everything up, cleaned it out, and they came up. Beautiful. These back here were store bought. This one right here, seeds. Oh, yes. My Oriental Green. These are collars. These are Oriental Greens here. That's collars. There's some little babies back there. Some curly kale. The kale is coming together nicely. Oh, my onions. Kale looks really good. Now, this is an avocado tree that I grew from seed. I grew this, wow, I guess it's five years. Five years now. So we are expecting an avocado, more than one, but <laughs> we're expecting avocados. No, don't take that. That's the flower. I know, but leave that there. Okay, come on. What? 
That's my help, helper. That's Pak Choi. Oh, can I have them? You can take that. That's a weed. Mm. I think weed it has some medicinal rabbit. properties. I have to do a little more research. But this is a Pak Choi that has gone to its flowering and it's just doing what it does. So, more lettuce. I'm going to um, come out and crop. I could have it already in the house. All right, yes. Now, this is one of our triangle beds. It's completed. The triangle bed looks good. These uh, lettuces were also inside of pots. They're inside of pots, and I took them out, transplanted them, and they're doing beautiful, beautiful. They're growing beautifully. As you see, my cabbages. Now, I know I may have too many and too close together. But we're just trying something here. It's my collards. I'm going to crop them back. Yes. Chop them and freeze them. Arugula. So that is one full head. It's just, it's coming, it's coming, y'all. My heads are coming. Uh, this is my herb bed. Kind of look like a bed of weeds, but we got something going on here. And our chocolate mint, our spearmint, some peppermint, some lemon balm. And more cabbages over here, as you see, the head is starting to form. Oh yes, form baby form. So everything looks good. It's another, that's an avocado. Uh, this one is a, let's see. see avocado. So this is just a little update. What's going on? This right here is a honeysuckle and it was propagated. I took it from a piece that I had cut. I put it in a pot. I did use a little uh, growth hormone, and I was real pleased with that. Now, I, I did a um, hibiscus. It did have some foliage on it, but um, this kind of died back. Maybe it was stepped on by mistake or accident. So I'm going to leave it down, see what comes of it. Getting ready to move my bougainvillea on the other side. So now this right here is my, can you name the name of it? This is a pigeon pea tree. Started off as a very small stem and it is growing. <laughs> oh wow, it is growing. So excited about that. Banana tree, it's okay. Now this is the my um, sugar cane area. I don't see anything coming through the ground as of yet, besides the little weeds I'm gonna come out here and take care of, but I'm very hopeful. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what do we have here? My first side of sugar cane. <laughs> I'm so excited, yes. Yes, now we're talking. So that's what we got going on right there. That first piece of sugar cane. Wow, excitement. <laughs> so that is beautiful, beautiful. That's my banana tree. Nothing yet, but I'm hopeful that one day we're going to have banana blooms which will produce some fruit pineapples oh yeah pineapples no worries this is my guava it's growing I planted this last year last season and uh, I tell you it's it's taken off really nice now we're, we're so blessed just to be in an area 
Okay, this is my jackfruit. Yeah, I need the weed around it, but this started just like the pigeon pea tree. And as you see, it's got a strong stem. It's doing great. And this is a mango that we kind of brought from another location and it's it's doing beautiful okay a few of my starts so we have uh, squirrels everywhere those are marigolds and they just they're kind of wreaking havoc over here but it's okay um, I'm gonna be rearranging some things now these are leeks and they look very good very healthy coming up nicely these are my cowpeas. peas. Yes, you see a little bug damage. But it's okay. It's okay. Everything's coming up. Turnips. Now, this is a lemon. I had several. And the squirrels got into them as well. But I'm okay. Yes, I'm fine. Getting ready to transplant those in the bigger pots. There's a beets. Yeah. It's okay now I do have a small surprise for you so stay with me Ooh, that is our pineapple that's coming up now we planted this little area yes it's Daddy, pretty weed oh it be good thank you that be good for mommy okay you give that to mommy so that's our pineapple and what I'm finding, this area we've had down for several years and after each um, fruit that uh, blooms, then it, another shoot comes up, a new plant. So we're excited. I'm gonna... Yeah, my I see that. Yeah. I see that already. So it looks Where like... That? It's a pineapple. Looks like we're only gonna have one this, no, on this that? side. But um, we're hopeful that we'll have more. Hmm. I did what? So I did not show you my mango tree. As you see, it's full of blooms. And just like last year, we had a oh my goodness, just like these winds from nowhere, and uh, just winds. There. I'm still working on. All right, let's see if we can finish this. <laughs> so this is our mango tree. Yeah, can't wait to get my um, jams going. My sugar apple. So it's that time of year, it starts dying back. As you see, we're, we're cleaning up, we're cutting back some things, trimming, just getting things ready. And over here, this was a little, <laughs> just a little shit. Just a little something we were trying to uh, keep the squirrels out as they keep eating our um, the mangoes. So, as you see, it's open right here. So, they got in and they got a couple of the mangoes, but it's okay. Our Rika palms are doing pretty good. So, as you hear my helper in the background. So, so we're all done. That's my Eureka palm there. That's been down whew, about 20 years. So that's all for now. I want to say, share a little something with you. Um, you know, so much has been going on right now with uh, the weather. This is a little stakeout. We call it stakeout. We're cutting back our bougainvillea tree bush, cutting it back. But um, it's a little something we're building. This tree as well has been here several years. So, oh, let me mention this. Let me mention this. This is a bougainvillea here, white flower. But this right here is a pink one. I literally pulled it up out of the ground and then transplanted it here and it and it grew it just took off I mean I, I just dug it from one location put it to the next brought it over here and it's doing well so what we're trying to do is to you know just create like a little hedge but it's all good this is all apart you know 
everybody has something and this mango tree over here that mango tree right there that is a tree we planted from seed delicious fruit and we're hoping not long that we're gonna have a mango from that tree not a mango but several mangoes so as I started to say so much is going on right now just so much so much so much and um, you know I think about all the things that are happening out in Texas the torrential weather oh my I've, I've never been in snow I've never seen snow so so much is happening with the severe weather all over Midwest I mean just just I know some people love it let's say I've, I've never been in snow I'm I've always been in a warm climate area and um, I, I do want to visit snow maybe soon one day you know I can't get this together I'm trying I'm trying don't you <laughs> it's all good it's all good so That's my mango. That is beautiful. From seed. Now this actually looks like blooms. Hmm. I'm curious. I am curious to see if we will have mangoes on this tree. Huh. Okay. It's certainly a possibility. Certainly a possibility. So we'll we'll keep an eye out on those blooms. Then I want to show you my coconuts. Coconuts. So with the heavy rains and winds that we've had, I lost a few coconuts. But I still have quite a few up there. I'm trying to let her get a, let them get a little larger before I cut them down as I had some delicious coconut sweet coconut water so yeah yep this tree has <laughs> been a blessing I tell you you just never know what you have right in your hand so let us uh, and I guess I always go back to this let us continue to be safe. Continue to kind of just watch our surroundings. <laughs> because of things that have just transpired. Um, I think we're at a time now where moral ethics are out the window. So more ethics are out the window. And, you know, people are not making really rational decisions. But how be ever... We'll continue to stay focused, stay the course, continue to plant your food, continue to get your water, continue to do your canning, just continue to make preparations. We have to be prepared. Come on, we have to be prepared for what may be coming. You may be in plenty now, but be careful. Lack can come at any moment. It can strike at any time. No one, <laughs> no one, let me say that again, no one, no one can ever prepare for sudden destruction where you lose everything, okay, where you lose everything. So we're planning now, and once we uh, begin to harvest, we'll, we will continue to can, we will continue to um, keep producing and reproducing. You know, so I'm going to have this table talk about dementia. Whew. Very, very challenging dementia. I'm finding the different stages uh, of this disease. Um, it goes from slight changes to progressive over time, mood changes, uh, not remembering, not uh, doing things and totally not remembering you did them, being harsh, being just, um, 
<laughs> not going to go into it right now because I do want to present you with the information as I stated. Um, but it will be coming this month. And hey, I know it's Black History Month. So with this being Black History, let us celebrate back Black History 365. Three, 365, hey. Come on, let's be proud of who we are and what we've accomplished and what we're doing. Don't be ashamed. It's time to hold your head up. Move. Move. Move in silence. I like to say move in silence. When you move in silence, nobody knows what you're doing. But when they do find out, you've already impacted things. You've already turned things around. So, with that being said, this is the longest video I've ever made. But I hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, peace. I'm out.